Hey everybody, my name's Devin and welcome back to the Skill Station. Today we're going to talk about one thing and one thing only. How do you train paramedics with virtual reality? Well, I'm going to show you. All right, now before we get started, we got to talk about platform just for a second because people throw on the word virtual reality training and think it means the same across the board and it doesn't. What we are talking about is training EMS professionals physical paramedic skills that are customizable almost to the full scope of a paramedic. That means that as I train as a student, I will learn to do paramedic skills in virtual reality because I am doing them to the patient and the patient is responding. I'm giving the med, I'm shocking the patient, I'm, a, I'm diagnosing the rhythm, I'm looking in their pupils, they're dilating and constricting, I'm listening to their lungs. Do you see what I'm getting at? And as the faculty, I can customize those experiences and monitor them and track my students' progress. What we're not talking about is a virtual reality 360 scenario where there are a couple of avatars and I'm doing like voice commands at them and then they're responding and, and doing treatments and I'm kind of dictating to them. We're not talking about videos and 360 degrees or even virtual reality where I'm watching something like a movie and learning like a training video. Those hold their value in place in the EMS and virtual training world. That's not what we're talking about. We are gonna cover how to train your paramedics in a fully customizable experience. So, if you wanna do that, you have to use the platform VR Patients. Let's get started. Step one to training your paramedics in virtual reality is get them started traditionally. You have to do the core curriculum and get it going because remember, this headset does not replace education. It is an additive. It enhances it. It's going to increase their success rates. And you don't want to overwhelm the student when they're in the middle of memorizing bones and ligaments to try to put them in front of a patient to do patient care in virtual reality. No, 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 no. You wouldn't do that in real life. They don't start their clinicals till way down the road. A good spot to have your paramedics start VR training is right after ACLS because they're starting to learn an algorithm of patient care along with medications and it's starting to come together. And then you insert virtual reality patient care and they can start making mistakes on virtual patients early in their curriculum before they ever actually see a real patient. Prime time to give that a shot. The second thing you need to know to train paramedics with virtual reality is how are they going to access the platforms? Accessibility. Your students have to be able to either put on a headset or access it through the web browser. Now, VR Patients has a web browser version of the platform so students can actually log into their account. They can click and, and actually treat patients, give medications on the screen, and it will update to their profile. Or you can loan out headset devices and then they're at home and they put on the device. They're like, okay, the baby's been put down to sleep. Now I'm going to do some paramedic care in my office and practice before class tomorrow. I have an exam or maybe as an institution, you have headsets at your location and your students can come in for study time or for skill station time. They're going to go to school, put on the headset and people can watch them on the screen and they're doing treatments and collaborating with each other. Now, I've already done a video on headsets uh, in the skill station. It's called Getting Started with VR. It's episode two, uh, Choosing the Right Headset. So for detailed information, go check that out. But just some brief notes. If you're gonna check out headsets, you're probably gonna go with the Oculus Quest 2 Enterprise version, and there's a yearly cost to that, so watch out. If you're going to have a VR station at your campus, you're probably gonna to wanna to do something like the HTC Vive Pro or Vive Pro 2, and you're gonna need a pretty powerful computer for that, all right? As far as access goes, don't keep all of these headsets or your VR location on campus, whichever way you decide to go. Or maybe you're gonna do both. Maybe you're gonna loan out headsets, and you're gonna have a space on your site, uh, on campus, for students to practice in. No matter what you do, allow the students to access it. Don't put it under some lock and key so that way they need dean approval just so they can practice. That's not gonna help them. Imagine if they were trying to learn their anatomy and physiology and some go-getter student decided to walk into the library because he's like, I'm gonna do extra time. And the librarian was like, I'm sorry, you, that book is behind the lock and key. You can't get to it, it's too expensive. No, you gotta be willing to let these things get dropped and let students practice with them, okay? They wanna be paramedics. They don't wanna steal your virtual reality headsets. So your headsets are accessible, students are checking them out, and your VR space is ready and students have access to it, they can go in. Awesome. 
When you do your local setup, make sure that it's 15 feet by 15 feet for the wired headset, or you can get a little wireless adapter, but either way, if it's at your institution, minimum 15 feet by 15 feet of safe space where like if they trip and fall, they're not gonna hit the computer or run into a desk, okay? If your students are gonna take the headsets home, let them know they don't work outside, they only work inside. So they're gonna have to move their coffee tables out of the way in the living room or something like that and make some space 15 by 15 if possible. Step number three to training your paramedics using virtual reality is build some scenarios, build a case. Now with VR patients, they put a bunch of like preloaded scenarios in there for you to customize and duplicate. But I'm not gonna teach you how to build those cases right now, okay? We'll do a video on that later or contact the support because Dwayne is awesome and he will totally help you out. I'm gonna give you a tip. Go to the NREMT website, download an NREMT trauma scenario or a medical scenario or a cardiac scenario. They're free, they offer, they have them on there. They have like dispatch reports and chief complaints, the whole gamut of everything that, the, that it takes to treat the patient. Follow that step by step, build a case based on that. So that way, while your students are starting their education, they're being introduced to nationally certified curriculum. So when they arrive at the end of their curriculum and they have to take their NREMT exams and their skills exams, they've been training using those standards. If you build these NREMT cases, they're gonna have minimum benchmarks, right? In order for your students to pass, like something like you wanna get this done in eight minutes and pass with 80% or something like that. But these students are also going to be new and new to VR for that matter. So they're new paramedics. You can't just put their feet to the fire without giving them a playground. So I recommend you take one of these NREMT cases and duplicate it and then put tips and hints in there. Scan the NREMT skills sheet and they can actually access it while they're in virtual reality to remind themselves. And you can make changes to the scenario because it's customizable and it'll be different than the actual one that they're being tested on. So it's like a practice playground scenario. And I highly recommend that. Let your students fail while they're in class in VR. It's non-destructive environment. That's the best thing that you could do for them is let them treat a patient and make a mistake and the patient's not gonna be harmed because they're not real. Thank you so much for watching another Skills Station video. Please click on the red subscribe button and then click on the bell to get notified when exclusive content drops. Comment below, let us know what you like and dislike and I cannot wait to see you again in VR. See you on the next one. Just hanging out. Not sure if you're gonna go to the next video. Maybe click on one of these. Huh? Did you hit subscribe yet? You should. We got some good stuff for you.